For Miami-Dade State Attorney now, after 27 years, Catherine Fernandez-Rundle will hold on to her post. And let's take a look at the results right now. It appears that Catherine Fernandez-Rundle easily winning this race. 61% to Melba Pearson, who once worked in the State Attorney's Office with Catherine Fernandez-Rundle. Local 10's Kristen De La Rosa spoke with Rundle earlier, and he picks up our team coverage now from Miami. Kristen. Calvin, Nicole, uh, a very wide margin, and when you consider the wave of criticism on social media from Black Lives Matter protesters, from her opponent, Melba Pearson, Catherine Fernandez Rundle seemed confident, not very surprised with the results. She first took office in 1993. She's being reelected to her eighth term. <laughs> A victorious incumbent, Miami-Dade State Attorney Catherine Fernandez-Rundle winning re-election with 23% of the vote, taking the stage early on election night. I'm very proud of our campaign because during this amazingly difficult time in our community, we did not focus on personal attacks on our opponent. When I announced my candidacy on January 15th, a global pandemic was not on the agenda, right? Her opponent, attorney Melba Pearson, campaigned against a longtime state attorney, hitting her hardest for never charging an on-duty law enforcement officer with murder during her 27 years in office. The trifecta of losing, you know, the names I mentioned before, Ahmaud Arbery, Breonna Taylor, and George Floyd, galvanized people in and really changed the whole landscape of what this year looked like and what all races look like. We did a really good job with what we were given. Prosecution is based on the rule of law, not one based on emotion, politics, or sending a message. For all the people that supported my opponent, please know we heard your voices. And Calvin, Nicole, we spoke to Melba Pearson shortly before the results came in. She admitted COVID-19 was a huge obstacle in this campaign, especially when it came, came to the financials in this race. We're live in Miami. I'm Christian De La Rosa, Local 10 News. Okay.